Welcome to the second part of the video guide how to tweak your Firestorm viewer for better performance and for, for more speed. So we have already tweaked uh, with the first three buttons, general, chat and colors. Also forgot to say that you can also change the system color uh, of your notifications, uh, the system notifications um, to, a different, to a different color. So that's for for better to distinct better the the chat. So now we will we will play with the graphics. It's a very important section. First of all, uh, you should run all the games, not only this viewer, all the games in full screen mode. Put a tick here and hit apply. Next time you will restart the the viewer will will start in full screen mode. Uh, it will be your viewer will become more stable, uh, more more fa it will become faster if you run run it in full screen mode. Now, if you have a Skype or event and you want to do other things as well, you can just uh, click the the button, the Windows button between Alt and Control, if you want just to qu quickly minimize the the window. <coughs> By default, all Second Life viewers come with high set high settings, so you need to lower them to low. Uh, you won't see much difference from high to low. From high to low, you won't, there won't you won't gain much in appearance. Anyway, drag them to low for faster and better performance, and then make sure all the bars uh, here are on the left side as well. Uh, you can leave objects and scalps in 1500 and make sure all the particles are left and trees and flexi prims except one bar avatars avatars should be in the on the right side i have a friend that he claimed that that helped him shoot and aim better and uh, he claimed also that uh, dragging avatars to the right it makes physical objects track the other avatar better it's hard to believe that and it's very hard to prove that since um, whatever you see in your screen, whatever you see in your monitor, it has little to do with the physicality of the objects or how they move inside the server. So, but on the other hand, some strangely, uh, this, things wo this thing worked a bit. So, and also it, it didn't lag, it doesn't lag you at all. And also uh, it makes the avatars look prettier, prettier. So just leave it on the right side, it won't bother you that. Uh, but make sure all the other things are on the left. So hit, up, uh, hit apply first and then make sure also, this is very important, basic shaders is ticked and hardware skinning is also ticked. Hit apply. Uh, hardware skin skinning, it will help you a lot with erasing mess. If you see, if you untick, now you'll see my frame, my frame rates here. If I untick hardware skinning, my frame rates will will drop. If I if I tick it back, my frame rates will go high. So hit apply and make sure also basic shaders is on because you cannot dis enable hardware skinning if uh, this thing is not on. Uh, make sure this box is empty, atmospheric shaders, and I will explain you why. And you can tick local lights to have just a little bit uh, better visibility. Hit apply and go to hardware settings. Go to hardware settings and this thing here, you don't need that crap thing here disabled. Leave it empty. You should always have ticked uh, OpenGL vertex, vertex buffer objects because Second Life uh, works with that engine instead of DirectX. This is very important. Leave it always on. And this here, this button here is very debatable whether it, whether you should uh, enable it or not. For the time being, disabled. And this has been causing many problems in the past for ATI cards and for NVIDIA cards. But the last year since the new updates of the drivers and since the update of the viewers as well they have fixed many bugs so VBOs now should work fine without any problems and it will give you maybe a little bit, bit more but for the time being I suggest advise everyone to just leave it empty and we can we can wait a little bit more we can wait a few months more so we can they can um, make it perfect for, for this viewer now when you go to dark sims 
you cannot see anything you can when you go inside the tunnels and you you are surrounded by dark textures it's and you cannot see anything and you 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 know you you complain that everything is dark instead of tweaking with your monitor brightness and instead of tweaking with your graphics card you can just play with gamma go to gamma and just increase one degree and voila everything is bright now but you, you can you have to play with gamma you have you might if you have a, a gamma enabled then make sure you have atmospheric shaders off if you enable atmospheric eight shaders then you will not be able to play with gamma it's that simple so <clears throat> if you go to a sim with a lot of snow and everything is too bright you just can, you can, can just decrease again gamma one degree and hit apply Anyway, you don't need anything from rendering and depth of field, go to sound and media. Here you can <coughs> disable disable music if you don't want to listen music to through Second Life. I have them disabled always. Media and voice chat. Uh, streaming of music also will take some of your bandwidth. So you can disable that. Uh, leave just ticked those two boxes here because sometimes it's useful to, to listen to other people's gestures. Uh, horns and uh, for example etc go to voice settings and uh, disable and take everything here as well if you don't use voice in um, second life you don't anything you don't need anything from from the sound tabs go to network and cast make sure that your bandwidth is not above 1500 uh, I place it uh, always in somewhere between 900 and 1000 anyway uh, if you place it too high, it will only lag you, and it's a, it's an urban legend um, that it will lag others as well. Um, it won't. It will only lag you. Uh, the Second Life bandwidth cannot give you any uh, any bandwidth you like, so you need to you need to drag this uh, up to 1,000 maximum. Instead, drag the gas size to all the way to the right because it's much faster. For, for your uh, processor to look the textures already which they are already located in your hard drive rather than to download them it's time if you drag it to low you will have to constantly download textures every time you visit a new sim instead if you have them if you have them already in your in your hard drive you will uh, be able to to raise them much faster hit apply then go to move and view you don't need anything to tweak here except you can play with mouse sensitivity if you like of course but I prefer to adjust mouse sensitivity through my mouse and movement nothing here as well Firestorm here you can just disable if you want uh, minimum camera zoom distance is not so important so you can you can zoom really really close if you want anyway and uh, you can disable that if you want. Hit apply and let's go to notifications tab. Nothing here as well. This, those settings are no important except one thing here. You can uh, disable. I have all the, those boxes empty. By default, you this box is ticked for you. You can disable that because sometimes if you have a, f a huge free friends list, uh, you know, constantly you will see online notifications of your friends logging in and out. Um, and this can be a little bit annoying so you can disable that but I'm ticking this this box here hit apply uh, go to privacy uh, it will play only with the second tab here you don't have uh, you don't want other people to look where you point when your camera points at so put a tick to those three boxes and um, make sure also that box is not ticked as well. Hit apply. Uh, go to advanced and tick allow multiple viewers. It says to the, uh, as the guideline says here, it may reduce stability and performance. But also, it's good that you should enable advanced menu. We can we can tweak with that later and developer menu as well. Hit apply. Make sure those two boxes are ticked and leave the other other two boxes empty. User interface. You can you can you can play with the user interface. If you set it too high, it will take some space of your screen. If you set it too small, 
it would be very tiring for your eyes you won't be able to read so easy so I have it in the middle which is one the default one and then we have already tweaked with toasts here in chat button you don't need anything here as well and you can leave the deja vu font as they are or you can choose your, choose your own skins we have already chose our own skin the Vidas Phoenix classic one classic one Crashy pots you can disable crashy pots they are annoying just untick everything here and take all leave all these boxes empty go to firestorm here make sure that client breach is enabled <coughs> this is a rather useful uh, feature that uh, Linden's have because it tracks better the the online status of your friends also it helps you sometimes uh, send massive teleports easier if you have the, the, print, the bridge enabled and also it, ena it enables um, fly in uh, regions who, which fly is forbidden uh, you can disable telepo teleport and, tele and beacons if you want uh, this is not of course important, it's optional go to protection <coughs> this is important, make sure that you put a tick to enable spam protection and put a number a low number here like 20 or 25 so you won't you will avoid spamming uh, of your screen from any kind of message so make sure this is ticked go to avatars and tick a, a enable selection beam so you don't want other people to know where you edit the objects you like and then go to command light don't need anything to change here go to wind light wind light likes you likes you a lot uh, and take everything here so you, you can have a, st a steady weather sun midday only and just hit apply don't use any wind light at all I would, I would advise of course and nothing here in backup and that's all pretty much all and now we can we can do two last uh, tweaks one we have we can go to avatar we can go to movement and we can enable quick jump quick jump is sometimes useful for for fights and i will explain you how i have to go to to a high spot to, so i can jump from there when you jump from from a high floor over five meters um, the avatar uh, enables an additional uh, animation which it can stall you and it can stall, it can freeze your running uh, while you want to run <laughs> away from your enemy fast so let me show you if I have it, turn it off if I don't have it enabled if I jump from here you see it takes some time before I start to run again but if I enable quick jump if I enable quick, quick jump here then if I jump again and I keep running my avatar will run at once so I don't have that additional animation it won't stall me um, now the last tweak we can do it's from advanced menu we can it's a well-known tick we can uh, just uh, go to advanced rendering type first disable alpha advanced rendering types again trees advanced you can do that with control alt and shift and two control alt and shift three control alt and shift um, water if you don't want to uh, all those things uh, you can de render them briefly because every time you log in you have to do it again and again so take off grass take off uh, fog take off render from rendering feature take off foot shadows take off also from rendering features test F fr info and take off uh, cloud and take off particles and take off bomb as well so when you have done all that you now you to have a um, pretty fast light and stable view that it won't lag you as it was lagging you before so those antics are mostly for fighting see it's, it's if you want to take nice uh, high detail pictures or just not communicate or to chat to socialize with second life other 